Look, my daughter's bought me this pipe. And I sort of feel like Gandalf, you know? Hello there, dear Hobbit. Well, talking about Gandalf, today I'm going to do a drawing of Gandalf. Now first, let me tell you that there really isn't much of a description of Gandalf. Very little. Now I'll read to you what I have found. Tolkien describes Gandalf as the last of the wizards to appear in Middle-earth. One who seemed the least, less tall than the others, and then looks more aged. Um, Gray-haired and great clad, and leaning on the staff. I have this book here, where I found another description, part description, and I'll read it to you. This was where, when they're in the mines of Moria, and um, Gandalf was trying to figure out what to do with the next move because there were three doors, or three, uh, three different options that he had to choose from. He couldn't remember which one. So here we go. The last thing that Pippin saw as sleep took him was a dark glimpse of the old wizard, huddled on the floor, shielding a glowing chip in his gnarled hands. Imagine these bony, you know, bony old hands. Gnarled hands between his knees, so he's obviously sitting on the floor. The flicker for a moment showed his sharp nose, the puff of smoke. And ladies and gentlemen, that's all we have on Gandalf in terms of description. So I want to share that with you before I do the drawing. For this pose, I wanted Gandalf looking away into the distance, holding his staff up as if he's going to move or he's ready for action. And I did a, a pre-sketch of Gandalf um, last week to sort of capture his likeness, the likeness that I wanted to capture. And so I used that likeness to uh, create this drawing. And as you can see, I start off with really basic shapes, basically with just the head, the neck, shoulder lines, and um, the way I usually do it and it was more of a close-up view I didn't feel like doing a full body shot because I wanted to see his face I want to do some nice detail on his face and in order for me to do that I have to sort of zoom in so to speak and uh, do that and uh, in the book it talks about I forgot to mention this uh, his hair is very long um, and it's also very soft and it moves with the wind so he has very light hair his beard and his hair he has really long hair and uh, right there the album I'm working on so actually was too short I took it inside the house because uh, I was um, working sketching for the day and uh, I looked at it I was like, gosh, that was too short. So came back today and finished the sketch and made the the bone longer because it just didn't look right to my eye. And of course, uh, and I had the beard as you can see there, and I erased all the other work I did. But it's never a waste. It's always fun to it's always fun to create details and sometimes I don't use them all but it, uh, it's the way it goes sometimes. I give him a hairy arm, throw some curly hairs there. And for this sketch I wanted to have a little taste of a drawing but I want to keep it sketchy because sketches are more alive they have a lot more movement than drawings. So I'm trying to find a middle ground here. I don't want to turn it into a drawing because if I turn it into a drawing it gets really stiff. And I really don't like that. I really hate that. I mean I've done so many drawings in the past where I start sketching and then I forget to keep it sketchy. And that's something that uh, most a lot of artists struggle with actually. Sometimes it's just too easy to overwork and over-render something. And then you lose the fluidity of the drawing by uh, 
removing the sketch lines. So that's something that uh, I've struggled and many artists do. And so for this one, I'll try to capture I want sketchiness. You know, some areas they're delicious. <laughs> I say delicious because it's the areas that are round, uh, uh, that are rendered. The areas that are rendered are the delicious little uh, nooks and crannies of art, where I add the uh, contrast and shadow. And uh, I do that to bring attention to certain uh, parts of the sketch. And I try to leave other areas loose. And I try to leave sketch lines in there. Because those sketch lines add uh, life to your drawing. So if you, have, if you find yourself having a lot of sketch lines in your drawing, it's okay. There's nothing wrong with sketch lines. It's actually good to have sketch lines. And here I've finished the sketch. I'm signing it. And I want to thank you for supporting me and watching my videos and liking and sharing. And I hope you learn. And this gives you inspiration to keep drawing. See you guys. Thank you.